Hello everybody, I'm Keith Tomlinson, longtime manager of Meadowlark Botanical Gardens. Thanks for tuning in on Facebook. We, uh, uh, we're negotiating a situation like everybody else, but curiously, all the spring wildflowers, of course, are coming up right on schedule. So this is the Potomac Valley Collection. We established it about 20 years ago to feature plants that are native to the Potomac River Basin. So it's a very specific collection and it's very conservation oriented. It really is the most conservation focused collection that we have here at the garden. Today I wanted to talk about a few of the spring ephemeral wildflowers and in particular the trilliums. So we'll walk this way. Bluebells look really beautiful right now. So we've been working on this patch of trillium for almost 20 years. Uh, it has uh, increased in size by about 100% we would estimate. So the large white flowering trillium we see here called trillium grandiflora, really one of the trademark spring wildflowers of our flora in this part of the world. So the whole life cycle is set up to take advantage of the sun before the leaves come out and the shade ensues. So that's why they are true spring ephemerals. They come and go really, really quickly. But there's something else going on here that I've always been fascinated with. Trilliums are plants that have a very close association with ants. Uh, and this is a term called myrmecochory, the biological term. When I first heard that term, I was convinced it was a province on the west coast of Ireland. But it's not. It's an ecological term. And what that means is, is that ants come and visit the seed pod once the flower has gone away. And they're not there for the seed. They're there for a fleshy, uh, fatty little tissue called an eliosome. And they take it back to their nest and they eat that fleshy tissue. It's quite rich. It's a type of lipid. And they take it back to the nest. They eat it and then disregard the seed. They have no interest in the seed. Lo and behold, what happens? The seed becomes a new plant. Trilliums are special plants for a variety of reasons. They used to be categorized in the same family as all the lilies that uh, uh, you see as cut flowers. Recently, they've been given their very own family, the trillium family. And one thing that's so neat about them, their anatomy, is everything is in threes. The petals on the flowers, the leaves, it's just architecturally a particularly beautiful plant. Um, and it takes on average between five and nine years for one of these trilliums to produce a mature flower. So it takes time for all this to happen. As we go through the spring, we'll take advantage of taking a look at a number of other plants, many of which have symbiotic relationships with ants and other insects that are blooming right now in the spring. Thanks for watching.